Hey guys, we're going to put you all on here with another episode of Mobile Minecraft Forge, and today I'm going to show you how to create um, a, mul a block with multi-sided textures. Okay, so we're, what we're going to do in this example, we're actually going to use our top block as the example. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to go into our top block file, and we need to create some methods. So the method we're going to create is we're going to go public static void so no static, just void. Public void register block icons brackets i icon register icon open embrace control shift o and dash should import or we might spot the wrong i icon register there. Yeah, we spot it right. <laughs> Okay, so we've imported that, and you see that we're actually overriding the overriding method inside of the block class, which is somewhere in here. I'm not gonna go find it because we don't need to. And basically, um, uh, we're actually gonna set some variables we're about to create equal to something here. Okay, so if we go up here, and now we need to create some variables. So I'm gonna create six variables. So I'm gonna show, uh, yeah, six variables. I'm gonna show you how to. Add a side to each individual face. Okay, so I'm going to go public double icon, and I'm going to go side zero. Okay, and then I'm going to go public i icon side one public i icon side 2 public i icon side 3 public i icon side 4 and that's what it means least public i icon I don't know why they made it to double i side 5 because all 5 sides remember I've counted up in binary so it makes things simpler so I'm going to import i icon which is all fine, okay. So then inside of here, I'm gonna set side zero equal to icon dot register icon strings dot mod id plus colon side zero. Okay. So what I'm gonna basically do here is I'm actually gonna demonstrate which side's which, and then I'm going to rename them because I don't actually know them off by heart. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So now we need to change this to one, two, three, four, and five. And the same in this situation. Uno, dos, tres, catos, cincos, sin. Okay. So basically, what we've done, we set the uh, uh, the icon here, these variables equal to each of their textures, okay? The reason we created the variables here is so we can actually call upon them in different places in this class, okay? Because it makes things, well, simpler. Okay, so now we've done that, I'm gonna go, and you'll see inside the block class, that's actually a method we can create, and that is here, where'd it go? I had it up. <laughs> I've lost it. Wow. Where'd it go? Get icon. Oh, there we are. You see here we've got the uh, get block texture from side, which is not what we were after. <laughs> Where's it gone? We lost it. Yep, I've lost it. Where'd it go? Oh, there we are. <laughs> right in front of me. Yeah, so, get icon, okay? So we can actually copy and paste this method here. So it's public i icon get icon. I'm going to change this first variable to side and the next one to meta, okay? The meta, uh, the meta is the meta is basically like things like sub blocks, but we're not going to do sub blocks today, okay? We're just going to do normal, basic blocks. So blocks don't really apply anymore, really. Uh, but yeah, they do. Because it's still got icons, aren't they? 
I can, sorry, I'm still got IDs in a sense. But they don't. <laughs> okay. So what we're gonna do here is now we actually need to add a return statement. So we're gonna return if we're not in caps, that is. Return null for now. We don't need to return anything. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna type if side is equal to zero, then we want to return um the side the, the, the variable we made before, which is side zero. And we're gonna go else if side is double equal to one, we want to return side one. And then so on and so forth. So I'm gonna copy and paste this four times. Uno, dos, tres, catos. I don't know why I'm counting in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna change that to one. Uh, not one. Two, sorry. Change this to two. Change this to three. Change that to three. Four. Change that to four. And then five. And that's five. And that is it, guys, believe it or not. Once, uh, obviously, I've already created my textures. So that's side of zero, one, two, three, four, and five. Inside of my assets texture folder, inside of my blocks. So you've got side zero, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so what we can actually do now, we're actually going to run the client. Just make sure you don't have the uh, extension on here saying dot set texture. So don't have the dot set texture in there either. So we're going to run this. I do believe I already have the bot placed. Or in my hand, anyway, nonetheless. Okay, so I'm going to place this in there so you guys can see it. If there weren't trees in the way. And you see, side zero is the bottom. Side two is the top. It's like it's a bit like a dice. Side two is the which face? Which way we're we pointing? That way is is the only way which tells us which way we're pointing. That's north. Okay. So two is north, which is what, uh, which which is what we assume. So three must be south. Then four's east. No, it's not east. West. And five is east. That's simple as that. Okay. So if we actually um we can actually label these. So if we did it from facing northward, which we're facing north now, aren't we? I think are we? Yeah, we're facing north. Okay. So we can actually edit this inside of here if we really wanted to. So we could do side one was top, obviously. We could change. Basically, uh, what we're going to do is, rather than me just editing a variable in here, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna right click on that, highlight that variable, right click on it, and then hit refactor and rename. So I'm going to change this to uh, bottom. I'm going to change this one to refactor and rename. And this will be top. Alt Shift R. Top. Alt Shift R. This was front, I'd say. Continue. Alt Shift R. This is. I press Control Shift. Alt Shift R. That was back. Continue. Side four was left, wasn't it? Yep. So we can highlight that, tr uh, Alt Shift R, and so it'll be left, and then we can Alt Shift R on number five and change this to right, right, like so. Continue, and that is it basically. So basically, uh, side one, uh, side zero is bottom, side one is top. Side two is the front, side three is the back, uh, side four is left, and side five is right. Okay, and else we're going to basically return null. Um, one thing you'll notice though is if you just set the time today, is that one big issue here is actually when we place the block from this angle, you see we've still got three here, and we place it there, it's still three, it's still three. But if we want to change, try and place it from a different angle, it's not going to rotate. Okay. 
So we're not going to cover rotating blocks in this episode, but we'll co definitely cover it in another episode because I still need to figure out how to do that. I haven't attempted it yet, so I probably should have done that before I uploaded this video. But you know. Okay, so this is how to make a block. So you can make like a, a cool compass block if you want to, you know, like a pan new cube someone can carry. That gives you like information of which way's which. Which would be pretty cool. Okay, so I guess that's it other than I'm gonna show you also. Say if you just wanted um, the top and the bottom to be named, and you wanted the rest of the sides to be something else, rather than having the rest of it, so we wanted the sides to be something, we could have this. We could have the top and the bottom be returned. However, for the sides, we could have the um, we could return something else. So we could return I don't know iron block for the sides and have the rest of it normal. So we could create an icon. Which will be so. S we'll return left for this for now, just for an example. And we can change left to, rather than being what we want it to be, which is side four, we could change it to something like an iron block. So, iron block. So that's the name for it in the text files. Oh, by the way, if, uh, guys, if you're actually looking for the source code, then someone like I asked me this in the other video. But if you click um, build. Um, temp, uh, recomp source, um, then you can open up assets if you wanted to find textures and things, or you could open up net, minecraft, and then you've got all the source files in here. Just so you know. Okay, so now I'm going to go back into single player, open it up, and you'll see that the sides of our block will be made of iron. And we'll only have zero and one. Okay, so basically, all that's done, basically, it's going to say. Since it, it knows it's a multi-sided block, and it says um, it's got it's the way it gets textured rather than being used inside of there, it's going to be done inside of here because it's basically just returning this variable, which basically actually gives it the icon. And so it's going to say it's going to look for size zero, which will be the bottom. Okay, so we've we told it to return something for the bottom. We've also we've told it to return something for the top, but for the rest we haven't actually told it to do anything, so it's just going to return left for the rest of the rest of the size which we haven't defined. Okay. Thanks for watching guys, this has been the Grows Project on One showing you how to make a multi-sided texture block. Right, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later. Bye!